Good morning, fish tank. Awesome. All the fishy friends are all together. See? Oh, all of them are together. Best friends. Is it warm there in the sun? Let's lay down in the sun. What's up? Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Keeping me company while I tan. <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm gonna grab an early lunch. I have the hiccups, so sorry if I like... Uh, I'm gonna head off and get uh, early lunch at <gasps> Veggie Grill. So good. Veggie Grill. I'm waiting my order and stealing their Wi-Fi. Veggie Grill, so good. It's chicken burger, which is not even real chicken. And sweetheart fries. If being a vegetarian could always be this good, I wouldn't mind switching over. What are you up to? What you up to, sir? What's up? It's gym time. I'll see you guys there. What's up? Heading off now to run some errands. Look at this Christmas tree. I like giving me a seizure. It's gonna cause traffic accidents. <laughs> it's cool though. I really like it. Pretty awesome. First stop, Office Depot. Look how big these binders are. And look how expensive. Oh, I don't know why I'm whispering. They have a home jump rope at Office Depot. Okay, next, off to check out PetSmart. Yeah! This is the only item that they carry for BioCube out of everything. It's really sad. Oh, it's a German Shepherd there. Oh, reminds me of my dog. That <laughs> treats shaped like squirrels. I, apparently, I asked Aaron and he said he doesn't like those. So, uh, antlers, these are like $20 for this. I don't know, I don't think Bentley will like it because it's not flavored. It's only a problem. <laughs> All the toys again. Uh, I don't think I can get Bentley anything. He rips everything up so fast. These are funny. Relieves boredom. Actually, something like this might work. I can't even, it's so hard to make any noise because it's so thick. <laughs> okay, it's between this one and this one. The only problem, I've, I've been like trying to break them as hard as I can. But I can't seem to do it. <laughs> Ended up with this one because I noticed there's a hole at the top, so even if he punctures a hole through this, I'm sure it would still squeak. I was standing seriously in that squeak toy area for the longest time, going through each toy, trying to break each one. I was trying to rip them apart. <laughs> And I guess this is the winner. The only thing I can see him doing is ripping off the feet. I bet you, I bet you this one will last a really long time. What is this? <coughs> Sit. Here you go. I bet it'll last at least a week. <laughs> okay, I'm sure he'll break off the legs, but I, I bet it'll still squeak after a week. What is it? What do you got? People were saying that they were watching my video and then um, their dogs were going crazy <laughs> the squeaker <laughs> yeah. This is driving him crazy. They're saying Bentley probably likes it because whenever he squeaks it, there's probably some suction that goes back in from the squeaker. It's stuck in his mouth. What? You, you look so weird, like a little baby or something. Is your jaw tired? It's really hard to squeak that, huh? I'm going off right now to meet with my friends for dinner and then we're gonna go and watch a movie. So, should be awesome. Ah, I'm in Mountain View now. It's so cold. It's like 40 degrees. There's Bernard. What's up? It's so cold today. <laughs> we were just mentioning that. I'm gonna get a burger. I'm gonna get the experience. It's gonna be euphoria. Spartan! <laughs> Garlic sweet potato fries. 
They're really good. <laughs> they are. They're really good. Really good. We had to experience bread. I don't even know what was on it. Oh, it looks like a lot of sauce. Mm. <laughs> that looks, looks juicy. Oh, that was so good. The fries were the best part. We're all chewing Trident gum to get rid of the garlicky flavor in our mouth. We're walking down Mountain View, Casper Street. This is where all the Google people hang out. <laughs> Mountain View is awesome also because it's where Google is and they have free Wi-Fi in the entire town. We're getting gelato. We're the losers who aren't getting gelato. So we're trying to just blow bubbles with Trident gum. It's not working. <laughs> Those are the cool kids who got who got the gelato there. And it's like 40 degrees outside. I know. It, you, at least you can eat it really slowly and it won't melt. Look, see, it's the best ice cream in 1987. Notice how the, the kids who are eating the ice cream have to stand up. <laughs> After them no. seated, they said no. Oh, too bad. They don't get one. They need to burn it off. <laughs> Here, do this, ma do this math problem for no, me. No, I'm not doing the math problem. No, no, it's really easy, it's really easy, okay? Just say it out loud as, as you just had to add, okay? So 100 plus 1,000 equals... Okay, plus 200. I tricked him, I tricked him, I tricked him. He said 5,000. This is so sketch. I have to, we're driving to the movie theaters all separately. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, parking almost killed me. Chicken Little, the sequel, Skyfall. I don't want, I don't want you to see. $100. I don't want it. You want mine? We're gonna go and watch Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> there you go. Look at this long line to see Wreck-It Ralph. That's really sad. It's like, it's been out for a while too. We're guessing someone barked in the theater. <laughs> that would be the worst. Yeah. Ralph wrecked the movie theater. Oh, we're going in! Yes! Time to kick out some kids. Just finished watching it. What'd you think? What'd you think? I thought it was pretty good. It was, it was fine. It had a heart. I have absolutely no idea where I parked my car. I was like so excited for the movie. Oh, it's right here. Oh, thank God. I'm back home and I thought I would give you a more formal review of Wreck-It Ralph. Before I start, I just wanted to focus a little bit on that mini movie before, that animated short called Paper Man. That was amazing. They used hand-drawn animation, but they incorporated 3D aspects into the 2D frame. It was great. I really liked it. It really brought me back to the magic that is Disney animation. Unfortunately, since that's juxtaposed next to Wreck-It Ralph, which is like totally the opposite of that short, but Wreck-It Ralph, it's a step above DreamWorks animated movies, of course, but I felt like it still wasn't as good as other recent Disney animated films. I still liked um, Bolt and Tangled and even Princess and the Frog a little bit more than Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph was great, but I just felt like I got a little bit bored in the middle <laughs> and it felt incredibly tedious. I really liked the addition of Jane Lynch. She was great. <laughs> she kind of just played herself in the movie. Personally, I liked it, but I didn't love it. Let's just say that. So out of four stars, I would give the movie two and a half stars. I know you guys probably loved it, and I'm so glad that you did. It was a high two and a half stars. I'd still recommend it. I'm gonna get to bed now because I'm exhausted. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. We're in Urban Outfitters. Look at this. Dope. See dope freshness on. I know that these have like so many of those. <laughs> Boo is so cute. Pooping animals. <laughs> At where? At Facebook? Yeah. What? Look at all the socks. <laughs> Look, it's Honey Badger. Honey Badger don't care. <laughs> T-Rex hates push-ups. <laughs> it's obviously where Ryan ate. Shops. I've seen them wear all these.